This is Hawaii's last coal plant, on the west side of Oahu. It was built by power company AES in the early 90s, and still makes some of the cheapest electricity on Hawaii's most populous island. But the AES coal plant will cease operations in September 2022 as part of a broader shift to carbon-free electricity. Now Hawaii's energy industry is racing to make sure the lights stay on when that happens. I'm reporter Julian Spector, and Canary Media sent me to Oahu earlier this year to figure out how the island grid is preparing for the end of coal. Hawaii set the first 100% clean energy standard in 2015. Since then, many other states have followed suit, and now the federal government is debating a national 100% clean electricity policy. So this question of how to phase out coal matters across the country and the world. When coal plants shut down on the mainland, utilities turned to natural gas plants. But Hawaii is skipping right over gas and only building new clean energy. The strategy to replace the coal on Oahu includes many things, like paying homeowners to install batteries that can store power from their rooftop solar panels, and building a fleet of large solar plants connected to batteries. But there's one project that will serve as the linchpin of the effort. This dusty seven-acre parcel will soon become Kapolei Energy Storage, or KES. This project, developed by San Francisco-based Plus Power, will be one of the largest standalone batteries in the world. It's also a test case for whether clean energy can really take over from fossil fuels. Additionally, the coal plant that's going to retire, you can't see it on the map, it's about here, it's a mile or so that way. Um, and so that's a 180 megawatt coal plant that's coming offline. We have a 185 megawatt battery that's coming on to replace it. The substation here is the same substation that the AES coal plant connects to. So while that is being shut down, we're going to add capacity to replace that, basically, at the same substation. Solar power provides a significant and growing amount of electricity during the sunny hours. But Oahu still depends on burning diesel and oil for power when renewables aren't enough. KES will charge from the grid, which is therefore a mix of renewable power and fossil fuel production. But it can push the grid in a cleaner direction by shifting solar power into the hours after the sun sets. That marks an important shift for Hawaii, which used to worry about having too much extra solar power flowing onto the grid from rooftop solar systems. Now, instead of discouraging production of extra solar power, the state will pay people for it. KES will act as a battery for the whole island. Over the longer term, this battery project is going to continue to have a really key role in making Oahu's grid work with all of the future renewables that we are planning to add. We're going to be adding you know, upwards of 650 plus megawatts across our islands. So a big portion of that will be done here on Oahu. The battery will be supporting all of those projects. First, Plus Power has to actually install the 158 Tesla Megapack batteries at this site where a traditional Hawaiian ground blessing took place in August. We bring life, we bring hope. May your aloha spirit be, be filled with aloha. We're honoring the kupuna. We are honoring our elders. Again, we bring goodness, we bring life. We bring the finished project should be online by the end of 2022, shortly after the coal plant shuts down. Here we go. Ekahi, elua, ekolu. Akau. Plus Power sped up the development timeline by choosing a site at an industrial park that was unlikely to generate pushback from the neighbors, which include the old coal plant, a trash incinerator, and an oil refinery. So, you know, we're in West Oahu, and if you, if you, if you do a flyover, this is where you have um, a lot of undeveloped industrial and commercial land. And so it was sort of a natural for us to look for land in this area. The forthcoming solar projects need more acreage, however. That often forces developers to look for agricultural land, and sometimes that runs up against residential communities. This can cause more permitting hurdles and public pushback. Development of some of those other big clean energy projects is in fact running behind schedule. And this has put Hawaii's energy sector on high alert. With the retiring of the coal plant, we have a lot of moving parts, and we're finding that it's very hard to keep track of everything. So the governor reached out to the mayor reached out to Senator Wakai and others to say, let's get together, let's put a task force together to make sure we're all on the same page with what needs to be done to make sure that we can retire this coal plant successfully and reduce risk of reliability and shortfalls to the public. 
KS also was designed to play critical roles in keeping the grid reliable without the coal plant. Yeah, so th this grid connected battery is going to be providing a number of really important critical functions for our grid here on the island of Oahu. Uh, one important one is something called fast frequency response uh, that we like to call FFR. Uh, and that's an important function that we need on our small, isolated electric grids like ours that has a lot of wind and a lot of solar already connected to it with plans to double and triple that uh, over the next coming years. Uh, and FFR gives uh, the ability for our system operators to very rapidly and quickly draw power from a battery system uh, from this plus power project uh, as well as to draw power into this battery system so that we can near instantaneously balance the grid uh, and balance the frequency so that it maintains nice and stable on our, on our small system. That should help Oahu avoid the kind of frequency-related grid failure that nearly hit Texas during the 2021 winter storm crisis. And if the whole grid gets knocked out by a disaster, like what happened in New Orleans with Hurricane Ida, KES can jumpstart other power plants to get them running again quickly. If Hawaii's switch from coal plant to battery plant goes smoothly next year, it will set a critical precedent for the transition to clean energy. But there's a lot of work to be done before that happens.